Welcome to Potash. In this training module, we'll learn about operating the Union Pacific General Electric AC4400 CW. The big AC4400 CW is an example of state-of-the-art U.S. diesel locomotives with 4,400 horsepower and AC traction. You'll be the engineer of the two-unit lash-up right in front of you. Let's begin by preparing the units for service. Almost all trains on the Cane Creek subdivision use two or more locomotives on the head end. We thus have to set up the diesels accordingly as lead and trailing units. Let's start by climbing aboard the trailing unit, which is the one farther to our left. Hello everybody, yes we're back. Back on the trains, driver training today on Cane Creek subdivision. Now I've only just recently purchased uh, this DLC and I spy, for my little eye, I've seen an unlockable, a collectible, whatever you call these thingy majiggies. There we go, water dispensers, refilled, who's thirsty? Let's just have a little look round here. Is there any more collectibles? So we're doing driver training today on one of the locomotives that are available in this DLC. Well, I can't see. I can't see anything else. So let's get on board and uh, complete the tutorial, the training for this particular locomotive and this particular DLC is actually uh, it's actually been developed by Skyhook Games any trailing locomotive must have its control stand disabled so that it can receive commands from the lead unit check that the control fuel pump and engine run switch are in the off position. Okay boss, we will check that. Just get a better camera angle down here if we can. That's a little bit better. Trailing units must also have their brakes set to cut out and trail. This is the default setting for all running locomotives at scenario start. So we can move on to the lead locomotive now. Okay, back to the lead locomotive. Shut the door. Let's go down the steps. I suppose. I suppose it could have gone across the uh, gantry. Does the gantry work, or the gateway, whatever it's called? This thingy majiggy up here with this train. Yes, it does. Opens and closes. I could have walked across there. Here we go. This is our lead engine. In other words, the unit will be operating from. We must thus switch on its controls. Our engine's controls are now active. Now we need to set the brakes for lead and cut in, which we can do on any one of the three screens located on the control desks. Okay, will it let us sit? Yes, it will. We can sit in the passenger seat, shut the door, sit in the passenger seat, sit in the engineer's seat wobbly, not passenger seat. You failed. You failed your test. Let's set this up. Prepare the lead unit. What do we press here? That's what we press. There we go. And we just move along clicking these buttons there we go our two units are now ready to go to work set the reverser forward release the brakes and apply a little throttle then carefully proceed to the destination marker and stop there The path to your destination has been set for you in this scenario. 
please be aware that there are numerous manual switches on the Cane Creek subdivision, and the engine crew must always ensure the switches ahead are aligned properly for its movements. Away we go, plenty of power. Now, I have got the Cane Creek subdivision enhancement pack mod installed on this version of Train Symbol 2 on, in this DLC um, for the PC. So if you see any logos that are different to yours, perhaps that's why. Because for copyright issues, they can't put certain logos in. So I believe part of the enhancement pack mod that I've got installed here replaces some of the logos that are missing as well as a few other things as well. I will put the link in the video description to that mod available for PC if you haven't already got it and you would like to uh, perhaps check it out. So stop at location. We are on a slight incline here. We've got a speed restriction of 10 miles per hour. So there we go chaps, driver training completed, looks like I was over speeding slightly there on the performance graph. Do we get a gold medal? No gold medal showing, I have, that was my second go, I have done it previously where I did actually get a gold medal and I unlocked an achievement. So, there we go chaps, look out for more on uh, Cane Creek uh, subdivision as it called, look out for more of uh, Cane Creek coming in future videos of Train Symbol 2. So it's for me now, it's back to the main menu and have a little bit more playtime on Train Symbol 2, Cane Creek. And for now, it's goodbye from me.